Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me home. A band of angels coming after me. Coming for to carry me home. If you get there before I do, coming for to carry me home. Tell all my friends I'm coming to. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. I'm sometimes up and sometimes down. Coming for to carry me home. But still my soul feels heavenly bound. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Coming for to carry me home. of a better tribute to our friend Pat. I, I know she would just, I, I wish she were here. This is fantastic. Thank you so, so much. But uh, last, uh, in the fall of 2008, is when he wrote a series of poems because he was in a poetry class at the University of Vermont that did not require him to write any poetry. <laughs> but he decided to do that anyway. Um, so he wrote a whole bunch of poems and started emailing them to us, and we're going, John Andrew, what about this other class, and what about this other class? So he wasn't doing his regular schoolwork. He was writing poetry instead, and um, this is one of those poems. So uh, you know, I don't know how the whole school thing works out. No, I've got it right here. Okay. <laughs> so somehow the school thing's going to pay off. <laughs> December. There ain't no cold like cold on the water when your knuckles wrench shut like rusted hinges, always wet. The humid air burns your face, 30 degrees below at 20 above. She heals hard, slicing through the three and a half foot trough. We are bundled though, 
core layer of cotton and wool, followed by sweaters, pullovers, and flannel. Over top you have oil skins and rubber, sealing your warmth in, only allowing your innards to feel around for the money in your pocket that ain't there. <laughs> Aberdeen across Bay is a proving ground for the military, and we hear it all the time. And Chestertown, distant thunder. Across the Placid Creek, pre-dawn to past dusk, dull thuds of death resound from the distant woods, mingle with explosions from Aberdeen across the bay. Family flocks of geese drift with the tide, float past as if pulled by some unseen string. The heron stretches her long neck, bends to a reflected image, to what lies beneath the surface, unconcerned with the punctuations separating life from death. The town tabloid tallies what, how many birds may be killed, bagged, daily. Two hen mallards, one pintail, two wood ducks, one redhead, one fulvous tree duck, one model duck, one canvas back, one black. The county paper reports 630 deer have been harvested that day, and pickups drive by, carcasses strapped to fenders, dainty hoofs stiffly protruding. News of slaughter overseas comes to the doorstep as the sunlight dapples our morning. Chaos comes closer while we pursue the pages over cups of coffee, selecting our own images, denying what is beneath the surface that killing is a way of life. Thank you. My poem, which I was very honored to be chosen as an honorable mention, is called Allergy. The poems were supposed to be about the river. Uh, allergy. Somewhere in forgotten boatyards, Dismasted hulls, imprisoned in wooden cradles, shrouded, are the boats we sail together. Their spars are racked against shed walls, halyards coiled. There is no song, no charm of steel against aluminum. In this season, when dark smothers <clears throat> daylight, I remember heading down the Chester past Love Point and out into the bay, and blue and brilliant passage Solomon's reefed down. Tomorrow's forecast is freezing rain. An asphalt front pays the western sky, and yet the dying sun is hoisting red defiant banners in the sailor's night. <laughs>